smart. Now let me show you this. This is called a thermal pen. It's an instant read thermometer. And you know, I like I have it finally because now it comes in my favorite color. Sure, yeah. check the temperature, it's immediate. You wanna see the temperature? 94.4 and it's the Wilson. Everybody has a different body temperature. I would be surprised oh, if it's Wilson's the same. a little warmer. A little warmer. It's about 96. Go, 96. Okay. So we're gonna clean these. Well, you have to get me up down to 97. Wait, I think I know why. Maybe because maybe because Wilson's wearing longer clothing. Zero it out again. <laughs> I like to zero out right before using it. Yeah. Okay, so, there you go. Do you know why you have to zero it? Because then it will also be measuring the bowl. Yes. That's right. Yes. Okay. We are 88. 92. Stop. Okay. You are at 90. You're a little over. You're 98. Oh, that's a lot over. Yeah, that's a lot over. How much is that? 94. 94. Let's see how much was. Yeah. That's a lot. Woo. That's enough for three coffees. So 92, right? <laughs> 92. Okay, 92. Stop. 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 Oh. 92, 92. 92. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Also, we shouldn't be shaking the table. Oh. oh, yeah. Uh, that was 92. 92. Okay, 92 minus... Uh, 2 teaspoons. 4 teaspoons. Oh, 4 teaspoons. Yeah, I forgot times 2. And then lift up a little, touch the bottom, lift up a little. So that way you're measuring the temperature, the average temperature of the bottom of the pot and the syrup. 248? 231. Okay, it's getting there. This is very important. I was just going to ask that. How, why, why does it have to be as, at such a specific I'll, I'll temperature? You, I'll tell you in a minute because we cannot... You cannot stop yet. You cannot, yeah. yeah. You cannot pause. So now, 248. 230. 244. Sugar jumps in uh, temperature quite fast. Fast, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. There you go, almost. There you go. There you go. There you go. Stop. in the book to, you can read what the book says, to stop and add, stop and add, right? Yeah. With the mixer on high speed, heat the syrup. Questions when I made the sugar. What, what were those questions? It's like, um, if you were to overcook it, when would be like the um, evaporation point? Uh, sugar has a lot of different uh, evaporation points that you call it. Oh my gosh. I don't remember exactly, but if we go over 248, it's going to turn to candy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, um, but unfortunately, we don't want that in the buttercream because it'll be crunchy, right? Yeah. yeah. You don't want that crunch. Now, did you notice that at 248, it was kind of thick? Yeah. Yeah. That gives the buttercream uh, consistency. It's getting thicker than the meringue. Yes, it's going to thicken the meringue. Good. Oh, it's so creamy. It's so creamy. It's so creamy. Now, actually, I'll always get a little bit of pieces of caramel in here. I don't know if you can see it on the video. Just a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. 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 Y
just don't don't leave just leave it alone okay don't don't blend it in I wasn't careful enough and you cannot really be that careful there's gonna be some sugar that touches the metal okay so that goes into the fridge it's supposed to cover with plastic wrap and this is the brand that I like that's the brand we my grandma um, either to refrigerate or wait until the instant thermometer says to it's 70, 70 degrees. just 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Unsalted butter, 65 degrees to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. 